All right, what up, y'all? So, tonight, SmackDown, first show on USA Network. I think they're calling it the season premiere or WWE week. They, they put some kind of freaking title on it. It doesn't really matter. Tonight should be a big show. Now, the biggest thing that really interested me so far is that Cody and Solo is kicking off the show. Steel Cage match, Undisputed Championship. That is kicking off the show. So, whatever is happening in the main event, I don't know what it could be. I assume it's something Roman Reigns related, even though I I I don't know. I don't know. So I they're planning something. They're always planning something. I don't know what it is. You feel me? But I have a wish list of things that I want to see on Friday Night Smackdown in this new era of the show. Now, a lot of these things are things that I've been asking for for a long time. And if you're a long time supporter of me on different platforms you know what most of these things are going to be you feel me but it don't hurt asking you know what i'm saying so let me start off with number one friday night smackdown i want to see my blue ropes i'm not playing and recently i went on social media i, I try to stay away from social media now because it's very bad like the, 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 the things that i hear on social media apps is trash bro i ain't gonna lie like it's just i, I it's, it's bad it's, it's really bad <laughs> but hey Blue ropes. I need that. Apparently, more people want the color-coded ropes back. And I thought I was the only one. I thought I've been the only one for like five years now. A lot of people want the color-coded ropes back. Now, the only thing is, on Raw, the ropes are white. So that makes me think that this is a null and void point. But it ain't going to hurt me just asking. Bring the blue ropes back. It's all about presentation. It's all about making the shows look separate from one another. You know what I'm saying? Raw shouldn't look like SmackDown. SmackDown should look like Raw. The only thing that we know now is that Raw is red and SmackDown is blue. There's no there's no difference. You feel me? So, yes, blue ropes, number one, always. Number two, and this one, there also was a rumor on social media that they were bringing the SmackDown fist back. Now, let me tell you something. They're probably not bringing the SmackDown fist back. I would be beyond astonished if I saw that fist on there tonight. There's like a 1% chance that happens. But... I would like a new stage that's not just big, big screen. You know what I'm saying? Give me a stage that's not just big screen. That, that's all I want. You can get a small screen, the little tiny screens. They're, they have so many different screens on the video game. Pick one. I promise you I'll be happy with it. You know what I'm saying? I thought we were moving towards it when they start to like make the stage smaller when they open up the back side of the arena to let more people in. But then that just became the norm. You know what I'm saying? It kind of looks like the uh, the Survivor Series stage, and that's cool too. But I want a stage that's just exciting and unique to SmackDown. You feel me? Not something that you can see at any point. Not something that is like similar to Raw. You know what I'm saying? I want to see something that that is u- unique and makes SmackDown look different. That's all. Back in the day, we used to have it. You feel me? So I don't know what happened, but that's what I would like to see. Number three, a new theme song now i don't want to hear greatness greatness oh what no what's, what's the freaking smackdown song see i don't even know all the songs sound so bad what is it um better than me yeah, yeah see look both of those songs are the same thing better than me might be the second verse of greatness i don't care <laughs> both of them are trash i can put this in too raw hey raw fix your theme song too i don't give a damn <laughs> you know what i'm saying the, both shows need to fix their theme songs nxt can stay Raw and SmackDown need to change their theme songs. And so we're talking about SmackDown right now. SmackDown, tonight. I need to hear some heavy metal. I need to hear something that makes me want to run through a wall, bro. I'm not trying to hear... I, I, see, I already forgot the verse already. I, I don't know. I don't know what the song is. Y'all know what the song is. I don't want to hear it. That nut-ass hip-hop, I don't want it, it's not. It's not even hip-hop. It's really bad rap. It's just, it's just not, it's, it's not good. It's not good. And that's no diss to whoever was spitting those bars, but I just... I just don't want to hear that. I, I don't want to hear that. I don't I don't feel like SmackDown when I hear that theme song come on. I feel like I'm about to go to bed. So just 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 turn that off, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Give, give me something that Oh my god. I like I we're losing recipes. I, we're losing so many recipes of just presentation for wrestling shows, bro. Presentation to me is half the battle of putting on a good show. Half the battle. And if you're losing half the battle, then what what are you doing? You feel me? Part of the reason why SmackDown is so bad these days is because of the first three things that I listed. No color-coded ropes, no unique stages, terrible theme song. You feel me? Now, number four. This also has a very small chance of happening, but I'll ask. A superstar shakeup. Now, again, this is something that we probably would have had a, a tip 
that it was going to happen on Raw this week. But SmackDown needs help. And whenever Cody beats Solo and finally gets out of this, and it looks like right now he's not going to fight KO again. That's what it looks like right now. Obviously, that could change tonight. Don't really know. But we need more heels for Cody to face. You feel me? We need more people to co- to have Cody go up against that aren't just Solo and KO and RKO. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we, need, we need less O's. Yeah? We, we need more actual heel competitors that can go up against Cody Rhodes and maybe just beat him. Now, Randy, again, Randy is a... Randy's an exception because the Cody and Randy feud, I assume, if written correctly, should be freaking amazing. I don't even think you have to do that much writing for it, but that should be cool. But after that, what else you got? You know, unless until you spiral back to the bloodline before Rock comes back, you feel me? So, yes, things like that need to happen. Um, Superstar shakeup, hopefully. And number five, better writing for the shows now listen again this could go for all shows but smackdown is to me the most poorly written show in the company right now you feel me it seems like they write week to week there's very few feuds that go on um and if they do go on it's like that's the only thing they have going for them like i'm gonna be honest with you the only thing smackdown has had going for them for me personally for the past few weeks is is carmelo and andrade and they're having another match tonight that best of seven series they're doing, I am locked in. Whoever wins that is going to be the next contender for LA Knight's championship. That is great writing. You have a feud between two great wrestlers. The crowd is, is probably the hottest when those two are in the ring. You know what I'm saying? It really doesn't matter who wins because both of them, there's an upside to both of them. You feel me? Both of them are heels. Both of them make sure that you have another challenger in your hands that's not someone who just LA and I can just walk through you feel me and if they win the best of seven series you already have made them a legitimate threat to anybody you know what I'm saying on Andrade's case I feel like a lot of people may not know who Andrade is or they forgot so he's reminding you every single freaking week win or loss and Carmelo Hayes you may not know who he is at all because if you didn't watch NXT he just popped up on NXT he was to me he's one of the best in the NXT like all time you feel me? He's an all-time NXT superstar to me. He did everything. Breakout tournament, NXT championship, North America championship, cruiserweight championship, title unification. Carmelo Hayes did did damn near everything. You feel me? So, and he was one of the, the main people in the 2.0 era where people like Melo and Braun and Mandy Rose got their start up. You know what I'm saying? Now, no matter how you feel about those superstars, it doesn't matter. Each, the three of them are very successful. Well, two of them. Mandy was Really, you know, but even her, she was a very, she was NXT champion for a very long time. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, there's, a, there's certain people that the company invested in and now they're getting their return on investment. Braun, IC champion, Melo, very close to becoming US champion. And I do believe he'll be a, a world champion at some point. You know, he's a main event. He's a WrestleMania main event way to happen. But yeah, man, I just really want to see some exciting things happen on smackdown tonight you know you have to be able to make this show interesting you have to be able to make this show separate than um what a lot of people might be expecting you know i think the only three matches they have announced is obviously cody and solo for the championship kicking off the show um Melo and andrade and then i think it's eight town down under versus ko in a mystery partner which i can only assume is randy orton you know I that, that too that too i'm tired of ko and randy having mystery partners and then ko and randy just calling one another like that's not a mystery opponent or a mystery partner we know we know exactly who it is you feel me so in my head i'm hoping it's not randy now the only person it could be it could be like sammy or something again i'm not gonna put much interest into it because they never really surprised me that much you feel me um there have been some words that Paul Heyman may make his return tonight, which could be also the return of Jimmy Uso. And he needs to come back now because I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> Jimmy needs to come back now. Um, I don't know if he's healthy or not. Apparently he is. So hopefully he comes back tonight or hopefully they give me something. Something. If it's not Jimmy, then Paul. If it's not Paul, then Jimmy. One of them needs to come back tonight because I'm tired of it. You know what I'm saying? 
this this whole bloodline story has to progress. You feel me? Um, and I ain't gonna lie, the bloodline have those tag team championships for no damn reason at all. You know what I'm saying? They have those belts, and I, I keep forgetting they have them. I think they're trying to slowly tell the story now of Jacob turning on Solo, which is a great idea because I feel it's already turning to a point where Jacob obviously is the more exciting out of the two. And even so, when the Bloodline 2.0 came out on NXT, they jumped the profits. Jacob, Tama, and Tangaloa looked the most menacing they've looked since they got there. And guess what? There was no Solo in sight. So all I've been saying is, I've been trying to tell people that Solo is ruining this group. But no one hears me. They would say, oh, Solo this. Solo got to beat him. No, he doesn't. He's not good at it. If you make him, if you make Solo what he used to be, you'll be fine. But you got him doing this Roman Reigns cosplay. He's not good at being Roman Reigns. There's only one Roman Reigns. <laughs> There's only one Roman Reigns. So stop making Solo a 2.0 version of him. Or I can't even say 2.0 because 2.0 is an upgrade, you would assume. Fucking 1.0. Or just put Solo back in a position where he was before. Alone, you know what I'm saying? Street champion, NXT. He was a huge part of 2.0 as well. But then you brought him to the main roster, and then you made him just less and less of himself. Now he got a suit on, cuts bad promos, and no one gives a damn. You feel me? So if you want people to give a damn, force them to. That's it. You understand? But that's it, man. SmackDown is tonight. The show should be cool, man. I don't know what to expect. I try not to get my hopes up because every time I get my hopes up, I get disappointed. But I'm going to do it again. And I think the three major things on my wish list, ropes, stage, and theme song, are probably going to be disproved within the first minute of me watching the show. So that's going to be a great start. you know. But I do want to see what they have centered for the main event since Cody and Solo is not that. Um... It could be Roman, it could be Rock, it could be Cena, it could be anybody, you know. But I hope it's not just an appearance and I hope they're moving towards like a major angle. You know, I, I don't want Cena to come out and say, hey, welcome to USA Network, I'll see you next time. I, you know, it'll be cool, I'll pop, I'll love it, you feel me? But it's just, I want to see something more. That's the key word for SmackDown in this era, more. I want to see more, you feel me? Raw has been giving us more. SmackDown has been giving us like less. You feel me? And that's not good. That's not good at all. But y'all let me know how you feel about it in the comments down below. If you like the video, let me know by liking the video. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe if you have not already. Comment down below. Cut the video you want me to do next. Amen. Say safe drink. I love you guys. Praise God. And if you want to watch Friday Night SmackDown with me tonight, I'll be live on either Kick or Twitch. I'm not sure yet. Probably Kick. Um, on both platforms, I'm under Life Not Famous. You go in there, give me a follow, and you can watch SmackDown with me and the chat tonight. And, uh, yeah, you can see my live reactions to everything. And hopefully we get a good show. But y'all be safe. I love y'all, man. Praise God. And I will see you probably later on tonight. All right.